the stand of the NPP party in the presidency are known. If the NPP party was against this, their members of parliament would not have voted for it. Hmm? So, so why are you not signing? Why the gridlock? Well, one second. Now, so to say Baumia was reluctant is totally unfounded. There was a call on him. He took advantage of yesterday's event, which was a big Muslim event, and made his comments. But otherwise, it's not an issue. Not an issue at all. The NPP is for it. Our members of parliament all voted for it. The president himself had said it would not be under his watch that this business would be legitimized in this country. The president hasn't said that it's because of some letter from Ministry of Finance. That's why he hasn't signed. The president says there are constitutional issues that have been raised. And those issues are before the courts. And so he would like to, for the abundance of caution, wait a little. He hasn't said there's some letter from the Ministry of Finance, that's why he's not signed. So this big effort by Samuel Okunjeto to say that there's some letter and Bahamia knows about it and the president is right. It's no, you true. should be telling us, did he it's, authorize that letter? He's the head of the economic management team. The letter did not come from the economic management team, it came from the Ministry of Finance. Now, the, the reason that the president has given is known to all of us. And indeed, the issue is before the courts, isn't it? So then how, do you, how do you explain to people who said that mm -hmm. when the A level was passed by mm -hmm. the minority, members of the minority went to court? Yes. So I don't know yes, yes, uh, the, yes. That's one of, one one of the court. plaintiffs, yeah. Yet the president yeah. accepted the bill for parliament yes. and assented. And, and assented. Well, you know, With the pump and pageantry. One second. If you want to hint at some inconsistency, you, you may be within your rights. But the E levy and the issue that went to court, we're not about, we're not constitutional issues, were they? Yes. Were they well, constitutional, they're, they're constitutional issues? constitutional issues, what, yeah. what, what that, the issue? that they lack a quorum. Because in the Abdullahi case, you said we could not reject the budget because we are 137. Those who approved this E levy were 136, an inferior number. A major constitutional matter on quorum. Well, that is why we went to court. Well, these are constitutional issues about human rights. And the presence deemed them big enough <laughs> to, to be cautious. But if you want to raise the issue and hint that there could be some inconsistency, I don't have a problem. That's, that's your viewpoint. People's but the, bot conduct, the bottom conduct line. To align with their rhetoric. The, the that's all I'm saying. The bottom line is that the president's conduct is in line with his rhetoric. Really? Absolutely. He hasn't said he's against LGBT. Uh, he's in favor of LGBT. <laughs> Has he said so? Actions speak louder than words. You Has he that. said so? You've heard the say. Actions the, speak the louder party, than words. The political party NPP is against LGBT. And that is evident so by, let's, by the let's vote see it in, in action. parliament. But let's see it in action. Let's see it in action. Let's see it in action. If an watcher, if yeah. there's an independent watcher. And it's like a, you. This is a president mm -hmm. who, irrespective of a court case, once parliament has finished its work yeah. and the brother transmitted a thing, mm -hmm. he accented, irrespective mm -hmm. of that, he accented for it to become law. Which one? The e levy. The e levy. Yeah. And then the same president, in the course of this, all the interventions that have come up, his utterances, when he met the diplomatic community yeah. and they raised issues, yeah. when Kamala Harris Kamala came Harris. and she raised issues, his commentary on it. Mm -hmm never making a definite position a clear position that i am for this law this is what my country's position is on it mm -hmm. we will sign it into law he doesn't make those positions mm -hmm. he always creates room for let's wait ah, but i thought we're in this country when the president said that it will not be under his is it, na, 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 so i've that, made this uh, point na, na, i've made this point mm -hmm. i've made this point several times mm -hmm. the issue of legalizing mm. LGBTQI mm. and prescribing it are not the same. Mm. Mm -hmm. So wh 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 where, where lies so the you see, what, what is the take of the president? I'm saying that it is not under my watch. I will not mm -hmm. make it legal. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not the same as I will prohibit it in law. 
they are two different things. Why do you say so? Because you see, I will not make it legal. Does not mean that I will go ahead and and sign a law which prohibits it. Mm -hmm. But the president has said very clear that there are issues in courts. No, so 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 I was you, you asking the question. I was yeah. just building a point. That's mm -hmm. why I brought in the e levy one. Yeah. And then I said that if you look at the instances I gave, mm -hmm. and then just when Parliament did this work, the yeah. Ministry of Finances um, letter statement, yeah. which mm -hmm. was obviously deliberately leaked, mm -hmm. and we all know that it's a strategy that is used. Yeah, strategy to do what? Yeah, oh, it's, yeah. it's obviously yeah. to build a certain, a certain narrative. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. about well if you have not thought about it yes. and you just yes. have been thinking about this other these are the repercussions yes this is what you're about to and lose. then to go ahead and say that on the basis of this so it's like a position paper mm -hmm. mr president we know this is, this is coming to you mm -hmm. but on the basis of re these repercussions mm -hmm. we think that you shouldn't do it mm -hmm. and then the next thing is that you see this cease and disease letter mm -hmm. and the president seeks to rely on something that he didn't rely on earlier mm -hmm. Which is what? The e levy. Which is the e issue that somebody has gone to court and yeah. therefore don't even serve me with it. Yeah. And then two, the president seeks to do something that in his earlier position, when he decided not to ascend to a bill, mm -hmm. the route he chose, mm -hmm. the route that he used, mm -hmm. which is what the constitution prescribes, mm -hmm. on this particular occasion, he decided not to use that route, yeah. mm -hmm. but to use a route that is unknown. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what, what, is the, to the what, what, what is the constitution or to convention? So what is uh, the important? I am saying that when you put all that together, mm -hmm. the issue of the president having said that um, it will not happen under my watch does mm -hmm. not suffice. Okay, so you you say that when you put all of these things together, you doubt the president's commitment. Yes. Okay. But what the president has said is that because the issues are in court he would prefer to wait. You can raise the issue that Brenda will show something. I've said to you that the, he, this one raises constitutional issues as against the E-11 one. But whatever it is, if you say that it raises inconsistent issues, why? Well, you are within your rights to, to make that thing. I don't have a problem. But the stated reason that the presidency has given is that and we all know the major issues that have been raised by civil society. Unless we are some civil society say, organizations. Unless we are going to say that the civil society people too were part of some plots, which I don't believe. But major issues have been raised by civil society organizations and individuals mm -hmm. about the about the constitutional implications of this bill. That has been that we all know. And they've actually proceeded to take the matter to court. So if the president says that I'm going to wait for the court to decide. That's the reason that he's given. If tomorrow the court rules that the bill doesn't offend any human rights of any kind, then the president must sign. If he doesn't sign at that point, then we can say that, ah, but president, that means that you are in favor of LGB. But until we reach that point. So what point, stopped the president? What stopped the president? Yeah. From accepting the bill. And informing Parliament in writing, so, but as the Constitution prescribes. But we have all said that it could be tidier. So, so, so that, that's why I said that when you look at all the issues surrounding it, but you also must look at it's, the issue. It's difficult. Yeah, very difficult. It's difficult very to difficult. accept that. Oh, yes. Yeah, so yeah we, are, we, are, we are not zombies. I have said to you that if you come out, come away with that impression based on the uh, things that have happened, you are. It, it's your legitimate concern, you know. Mm. But the official reason given by the president is also a legitimate reason. Mm. And the president has also said very clearly to this guy, I don't know if it's a state of the nation address or something, but he was very categorical that, that he would not, as president, legitimize LGBTQ. But that's not on the table. Sorry? That's not on the table. What is on the table? What is on the table is the... The, the bill. The, no, what is on the table, the bill... Yes. ...is about um, legislating against it. Yes. 
And the president what has the said president he doesn't support that, legislating no, against. What the president has said is that it is not under my watch or mm -hmm. on my watch that it will become that it will be legislated. Yes, but that is not that is not on the table. What is on the table is legitimate. Uh, what do you call? So there outlawing. So there are two forms here. There are two forms. The, of the uh, president hasn't said mm -hmm. that he is against outlawing it. He said that there are constitutional issues raised. I would like to wait. Has the president ever said? One second. I would like to wait for those constitutional issues to be resolved. You have said that. Oh, but there were some other issues that there were court issues raised. Yes. So, and in that, in those one or two instances, the president signed. So you can raise the issue of inconsistency if you like. Yeah, but not the, the, the reason. The point I'm making. The is reason that, that the president gave is that these are constitutional issues, and so let me wait. You are saying that in some other instance he didn't wait. I'm saying that. In fact, the president even been say that there are constitutional issues. What he said was that his attention has been um, um, drawn to yeah. a, a, a a court case. Yes. Yes. Which really is the injunction. Okay. So that in that case, then if you would say that then and he, he says he, and he, he says he settled law. Yes. Yes. And then, oh, sorry. He settled. says he settled law that. that when there is an injunction, everybody stays their hands off until a determination. And there's no injunction. There was an application for an for injunction. injunction yeah. Yes. And does it serve as an injunction? An application for injunction. You could interpret it to say because yes. we still haven't settled this thing clearly. Unfortunately, none of us is alone. I, mean, I think the Supreme but, Court has settled it. What, what did they say? You see, the even by are, even by their ruling on the the firm Yeah. You know the earlier on the Amanda Audrey one. When the, Which one is that? One of the issues. There's a richest scan, there's the Amanda Audrey. Okay. Okay. Now, when this issue was at the second stage of second reading, yeah. Amanda Audrey went for um, an injunction and raised the same issues, the uh, um, human rights issues and all yeah. that. And the Supreme Court's position was that Parliament cannot be prevented from doing its work. From doing its work. Mm -hmm. And so they did not grant that thing. Yeah. And Parliament went ahead. Mm -hmm. Then, the same, uh, the former court mm -hmm. is also asking for Parliament to be stopped from carrying out its functions. Mm -hmm. The Supreme Court says that no. Now, what um, the two the people have the, gone... The Supreme Court says no to what? It says that no, we cannot grant you the injunction. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, what these people are also asking for, I mean, is... The civil society people. No, as civil society groups have not gone to court. The two issues in court are the Richie Sky and the Dr. Amanda Audrey. Okay. Those are the two issues. Okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So now the thing is that you, the president says that don't come and serve me with the thing mm. because the matters are in court. Mm. But the Supreme Court's position on the matter, it says that you can't stop Parliament from doing this. Well, we've, we've agreed yes. that that is now. Right. If the transmission of the bill to the president is part of Parliament's legislative function, yeah, then it stands to reason that the position of the Supreme Court is that. In the course of doing this legislative function, you can't stop it. But we've talked about that. Yes. Yeah. So why does the president then rely on that? And to say that it is a, a settled law? You don't agree with the president relying on that. Obviously. But that, to stretch it to me, that then the president is in favor of LGBT. I have not said so. Way. But I'm not, not, not said so. That's the matter on the table. No, I have not no, said so. Okay. But, but nobody. But the so. matter on the table is whether the president supports uh, the, from Sami's long uh, lecture, whether the president supports. He says that actions are not consistent. Yes, so yes, are not consistent. They are not matching the rhetoric. Yes, but I'm saying that doesn't mean that the president is in favor of LGBTQ activities. That's the bottom line. Because he's actually made statements. Give the Ghanaian people confidence by your conduct. We politicians always have a confidence deficit. You know that. <laughs> <laughs> or you don't know. We <laughs> like confidence. The public. How, how, so, how, how convenient. No. So that one is not an issue. The issue is that the president has come out very clearly right. to tell the nation that he will not be the person to legitimize LGBTQ. Mm -hmm. Now there's a law. There's a bill that is seeking to proscribe the activities. The president has said there are human rights issues raised in courts. Let's wait for it to be settled. My interest is that let's urge the courts 
to rule quickly on this matter. Rule quickly on what? The injunction? On the, on, the, on the whole issue of the... Are, are you saying that the president must wait for the substantive matter to be decided before... But the a substantive matter can be dealt with in a couple of days. No, but there are human but rights issues. You, you spoke about precedence. Yeah. Do you know what this means what, what? for governance in this country? Mm -hmm. That yeah. any time yeah. the president must take a decision, mm -hmm. somebody can go to court mm -hmm. and say that, or any time parliament takes okay, so, a decision. Okay, so let's yeah. wait for the injunction application. Yes, to that's, be that's fair. Yeah, but I'm saying that the issues that have been raised, they are not really complex. It's a matter of looking at the bill clause by clause by clause and deciding whether some clause there. The point is, the point is right. that first and of all, first of all, all it must this... become law. Sorry? First of all, it must become law. Before... Yes. Yeah, then the Supreme Court should say so. Yes, it must no, become law before don't... you strike out anything. Listen, I don't have a problem with that. Otherwise, say... the legislative process prescribes yeah. for how clauses in bills are dealt with. Exactly. Yes. Now, I'm exactly. saying... And you see, this can, has can been, this has can been I'm the saying most... That publicly discussed finish? and imputed piece of legislation but in the history himself. in the history of this parliament yeah. by the president's chief legal advisor made input yes this this matter went wrong over 300 organizations and and, and individuals but does that remove the father made input in there's an injunction if you have any concerns your attorney general was there at the table no, no, i'm saying that does that remove I mean, the fact that you see, there's this, an injunction this, process? This, this, it doesn't. This, it doesn't. This, so this is so bringing that attorney general. It's a clear, it's, it's a clear shenanigans. Clear shenanigans. Clear shenanigans. Clear shenanigans. Because you people, your finance minister says you you lose three point eight billion dollars. That's how you reduce us to reduce our sovereignty, reduce our values. So now he's ascribing to to, 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 to the, pecuniary that interest. The Why? I wrote that letter. I wrote that letter. And the head of the economic management team, where was he? 